Hey brothers, this is Cam here from Hey Brother Outdoors. Today we're going to be making a shot for shot remake of Katz Moses' video that he put up last week of a crosscut sled. And this is one of my very first projects. Um, so take it at my word that if you, if I can do it, you can definitely do it. And I got the Katz Moses uh, no deflection stop block with a, a Shot Fox T-Track 36 inches. So this is going to be fun and I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's start up with the uh, glue up and then into the next day after the glue up is done. So here I'm just cutting up the plywood. I already cut it up at three quarter inch plywood at five inches height and then three strips deep. The, for the back fence, it's four foot long. And then for the front fence, it's probably just some scrap. I think it was about 20 inches long. As long as it covers up where the table saw cuts, then you are good to go. So uh, we're all glued up here. I'm gonna go ahead and square these fences off. Um, and attach them to my sled. All right, let's get to glue and screwing and cute montage. out of um, spare plywood the problem with these is with plywood is that um, it, it, it does bend when it gets really thin like this if these just don't work out I'll just unscrew them and I got this scrap uh, red oak and it's not like I just have hardwood lying around here that I don't have a use for I actually bought just a bunch of scrap red oak from a guy for like 30 bucks and uh, it's all for practice and for small projects anyway uh, let's get to trials and tribulations these are just a little bit above the height so I'm just gonna go ahead take them to my planer and see what I can do All right, so I got it set up. Uh, my rip fence is about 24 inches wide, so it's perfect where I had 18 inches from my left face and I have, uh, was it the remainder, 30 inches on my right face. Um, back fence is gonna go here, forward fence is gonna go up there. Quick, thick, super glue. Here I'm just pre-drilling some pilot holes, a 3 8 inch countersink, and then some number 8 by 1 and a half inch screws. Midnight. Here I'm just gluing down the forward fence with some type on 2. It doesn't need to be water resistant and it doesn't really need to be super square. And then I just clamp it, flip it, and screw in some 2 inch screws. And right about here you'll see me put a screw in between the two runners which is a no-no I ended up backing it out because obviously that's where the blade goes so lessons learned all right brothers now I'm gonna get some cool shots of me doing the five uh, cut method in order to get a square on this I'm gonna cut this board into a square before I use that board as my reference board so let's do it 
do some cool action shots. All right, so I did the math wrong again. So anyway, got my A cut, my B cut, the length of the cut for uh, from A to B. Ipso facto, power of calculators. Um, I actually got 0 .0593. So I got my feeler gauge stuff. Uh, got this at AutoZone, $11, not expensive. And I got well, 0 0.024, 0 0.025, and 0 0.01, which makes a grand total of 0 0.5059. I'm just gonna go to the nearest thousands. I'm gonna, I got a square block, clamp that down, put this in between the fence and that, and I'm gonna keep my pivot screw in place, but I'm going to move uh, this movable screw. I'm gonna do the five cut again, and I should come very, very close. And then after that, I should be square. Well, there you have it, brothers. Um, I was able to get it down to about one one thousandth uh, on square, so that's good enough for me. I mean, as you see, this is not a professional workshop, so uh, I'm pretty close, and anybody can do it. I mean, if, if I did it, anybody can do it. Came in the mail, so now let's go ahead and route this bad boy into my uh, back fence. All right, so I made my very first router cut. That was awesomely powerful, but it was also tragic because freehand, that's there's no way with three quarter bit. So I'm going to make a makeshift fence guide and hopefully I can get some form of a straight line as long as I get it from point A to point B over there in order to fit my track in. All right, that is snug and perfectly straight i took the mdf out and screwed it from underneath uh, just in two spots one and two underneath the table saw in hindsight maybe i should have done this before i had put it together but you know whatever it is what it is and look i did it you know woodworking is all about fixing mistakes or uh, adjusting on the fly right and that's that's at least what i'm told so there you go i just on the fly i got a straight mdf board that i already had lying around the shop because i'm going to use this for epoxy molds that is straight and I went really slow and used my finger to guide alongside this edge and uh, there you go that did it. That is flush and that is straight thanks to the MDF. Um, of course I need to get myself a, a, a ultimate router jig and build that one but that will be probably here uh, in the next few weeks or something like that but uh, this will do. And I'll be able to put my stop block on here when it gets here uh, in the mail. Hey brother, so my Cats Moses uh, no deflection stop block came in today. And no, I'm not sponsored. Um, I've already been using my cross cut sled. And I love, by the way, I love this thing. Been using it already without the stop block. But I have noticed that I've wanted the stop block from how I've been cutting it and wanting those precise cuts. Not too bad. Uh, if you don't have a miter saw, I mean, this is this will probably pretty much get you what you need for uh, without a miter saw. You don't need one, I guess, if you have a cross cut sled. So, well, that'll about do it, brothers. Uh, wrap up this uh, cross cut sled. Again, this is not my idea. This I just took it from Katz Moses' video that he posted last week, and I think that this is a testament again to his teaching style and. I hope that he watches this and all of you watch this and realize that not only is his teaching style great, but you can do it. You don't need that much uh, experience. This is, look at my other videos, nothing on building. This is one of my very first projects. Uh, again, I got the Cats Moses No Deflection Stop Block. I'm so happy I got this. I've already used it a couple times and it's very easy to just move around on this T-Track. T-Track was easy to do. I mean, this is all very simple stuff. It just takes some time to do your studying and get into. Uh, Cats Moses Goo, I just did this while I was making. I put it in a crock pot. Well, brothers, I think that'll about do it. Um, there's nothing more that I can teach you in on this video, or at least not teach, but show you. Uh, take your brother hunting in the shop. I don't know. For this series, I guess we'll do teach your brother something, because that is what my channel is about, is about passing on the legacy. Don't hold on to knowledge. That's terrible. All right. Take it easy, brothers, and teach your brother something. <laughs>